sew our hats. Um, we want an offbeat hat. Something pretty sort of metallic first, I think we had. So I think I'll try this one. And again, we'll just bring the decay time down. And let's put that in and see what it sounds like. So a lot of the, the prog tracks that I'd been listening to when I was making the tutorial, the hi-hats were sort of quite fuzzy and, and sort of um, distorted. So we can turn our saturation on and our filter on. And what we're going to do is use the high pass filter in conjunction with the drive on the saturation just to create a, a sort of, you know, a more overdriven, harmonically rich sound. So you can hear there, it's nicer tone to it. It's um, just a bit um, more in your face, a bit overdriven. So it sounds sounds good. Uh, it's a wee bit loud, so we can turn it down. And we'll come back. There's an, an extra part of the hi-hats, which is the faster bit, but I'll get the percussion in now and we can sort of build the hi-hats in a wee minute. So the percussion, we've got a couple of sounds we want to use. Got an, uh, a thunder drum um, from the tribal tutorial. Um, we want to use this as sort of like a, a low bass note. And we've got the 808 tom. And this will be used to create a really fast um, rhythm at the top. So we can load both of those in. Create our part. And I'm just going to put thunder drum in, in, in between the kick. And we'll play about with the sound of that as well. So bring it down in, in volume. Um, we'll play about with this transpose later on when we introduce the bass line as we want the two to sort of match up. And this note here is a, a bit loud, so we want to just bring the velocity down um, and it'll sort of sit a bit better and it won't stand out just as much. And then the next thing we're going to do is this high tom and basically we can just draw a line right across and then what we're going to do is start adding some swing so if we go into our groove pool if you browse your library and go into your swing section what I've started to sort of do now with with this is just add a, a 99 and what this basically means is that it's like a full swing you can have from 0 to 99 and then you can sort of set it yourself so um, and swing just gives it the groove so you can hear what when we, when we add it to the percussion track and we turn the timing up you'll hear what it's what it's doing You can see here there how that could be useful and in, in a lot of prog stuff it's probably sitting between the sort of 30 and 40 mark so we're going to go back into our percussion and just edit it a tiny bit it's a wee bit full at the minute so we can just take out some of the low end with our high pass filter Uh, 
and we can pan that as well just to spread things out. And we'll go into our claps as well and we can pan them left and right also. 